Now let's simplify some radicals and turn them into mixed radicals. Mixed radicals, what does that mean? Well, let's take, the, let's take a look here at the square root of 12. And I'll just use this strategy here to make things simple. I'm gonna take a look at the 12 and I will break the 12 down into prime numbers. Of course you remember that the prime numbers are 2, 3, 5, 7, 11, and they go on forever essentially, but we just probably need these numbers for now. And I'll take the smallest possible prime number that I can divide 12 by, and in this case that's just 2. So 12 divided by 2 is 6. I can also divide 6 by 2, and 6 divided by 2 is 3. So this is just a factor tree for the 12. And what this means is that 12 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3. And that's still all underneath the square root right here. And now we can do something interesting. We have two twos. We have a pair of twos in here. And what that means is that this is a perfect square because 2 times 2 is 4, right? And here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to split up the radical. I can just do that if we're multiplying things inside the radical. This is a small example. If we had the square root of a times b, that's the same thing as the square root of a times the square root of b. If you can't remember that, please review the basic rules of radicals. And over here, so we have the square root of 2 times 2. The square root of 2 times 2 is just the square root of 4, which is 2. And that's it. 2 root 3. It's, uh, this is, I meant is, not it's. <laughs> 2 root 3 is the mixed radical form of, of the square root of 12. We just broke the 12 down to 4 times 3, and the square root of 4 is 2. Okay, so now let's do the square root of 18. Hopefully that made sense to you, but if not, Hopefully I'll clear that up right now with 18. Let's also make a factor tree. 18 divided by 2. We can of course also divide 18 by 2. 18 divided by 2 is 9. Now I can no longer divide 18 by 2. Or sorry, 9 by 2. I'll divide it by 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. And that means of course that 18 is 2 times 3 times 3. Now we have a pair of tree of <laughs> not trees, we have a pair of threes. And whenever we have a pair, we can essentially whisk it out of the square root. And why is that? Because the pair is going to make a perfect square. So 3 times 3 is 9. Now I can essentially just separate them. So I have the square root of 2 times the square root of 9. And the square root of 9 is just 3, because 3 times 3 is 9. So right now, we just have the square root of 2 times 3. But it's always nice to put the number that doesn't have a radical before the radical. So 3 square root 2 is the fully simplified mixed radical form of the square root of 18. And you might be asking yourself, well, why, why are we leaving the square root of 2 here? Why can't we do anything to this? Well, 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 well. Because whenever we have the square root of a prime number, we can't do anything about it. That's actually a completely irrational number. In fact, it doesn't have to be a prime number inside the radical for us to get an irrational number. 
something like the square root of 6 also can't be simplified because that's the square root of 2 2 times 3 right that's 6 so there are two prime numbers there are no pairs that we can take out of the square root hopefully it made good sense if not it would suggest that you scroll down and you try more questions and you watch more of our videos and good luck with radicals.